hi guys welcome to my youtube channel if you're new here you are welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for always stopping by in today's video i'll be teaching you how to cut and also how to sew an adjustable skirt with side ruffles so if this is something you're interested in please like comment share subscribe and let's get started welcome guys so from my previous video i dropped this pattern i will link it up here if you haven't seen the video so you can understand how the pattern was drafted but now i'll be placing this pattern on my fabric then i'll be cutting please note that the dart is not required i'll still cut away the dart portion this was the pattern i drafted before and it has a dart that's why i'm using it but i will remove the dart later on in this video you will see that so if you are drafting your pattern from the scratch or you are measuring directly on your fabric you don't have to put that at your waist area just measure your waist measurement and your hip measurement and the length of your skirt the length will be longer than your actual length because it can be adjustable so depending on how you want it you can make it the length a three quarter length so when you adjust it it will be your short length so now this is the fabric i've cut and i've taken my dance at this area as you can see i folded that that area inside so i'll be cutting away the that area So this is what i have after cutting it away so the next thing i'll be cutting is the side ruffles for these if you need a calculation on how to cut a flare like a peplum or a flare i'll link it up here so you will see how to calculate it so for me i measure 10 inches then i'm marking out four and a half inches at this area so that is i'm left with five and a half so after sewing with half inch and joining with half inch i'll be left with four and a half inches So at this curvy area just make sure it accommodates the length of your skirt you know the the ruffles the, the ruffles by the side will start from the waist that is after the band to the length of your gown so you have to measure the length then from the calculation you will get your radius so you can know the cycle but the length of the ruffle should be about four to five inches so after cutting out your cycle your flare you open it up at one end so i have four of these so two to one ruffles and the other one to the other ruffles that is i'll be sewing this and be turning it so that's why i have to so now after turning and sewing this is what i have so this is the rope i'll be using to adjust the skirt it is one and a half inch wide and the length depends on what you want if you want the rope to be very long make it very long so after turning the rope and sewing this is what i have so i have four of this rope two to one side and the other two to the other side so this is the band of my skirt if you watch the previous video about drafting of this skirt you will understand so now we want to start sewing this so before we start sewing i want to note the area for the zip zip allowance where the zip allowance will start from so that's where i noted there so i I've went ahead to sew the remaining parts down then i'm aiming the lower part of the skirt for the front and back the lower part you will hem it immediately so after hemming it this is what i have then i've placed it on each other right side facing each other then this is my ruffles so the ruffles will be inside like this but you will leave half inch at this upper part where you will join your band where you will join the band to the skirt so you place the ruffles like this if you have excess just try and pleat it inside for it to just accommodate it so this is how you replace it inside the allowance for the sewing of your skirt should be at least one inches so after pinning it down like this you cover it with the other side of the skirt then you do the same thing too for this other side and then you go ahead and sew so after sewing this is what we have so the next thing we'll be doing now is to top stitch this part we need an opening 
for the rope so you top stitch so one of the sewing allowance you will put it like you will move it to one side then you top stitch then you flip the ruffles over the flare over then you top stitch on the other part to at least half inch so that the rope can pass through it easily you do the same thing too for the other side then after that this is what it will look like so you have an opening here the opening another opening at the back so now so now for you to have a neat work you just go ahead and weave the inside individually so you weave that part and also the other part so that's what you will do so after doing that the next thing you'll be doing now is to fix your rope so with the help of your safety pin you pick one end of the rope that is the closed end for this rope one end is open the other end is closed so the closed end you fix your safety pin inside you close your safety pin then you pass it through from the upper part of the skirt where the band will be attached you pass your rope like so you pass the rope all through to the end so after passing the rope all through to the end so at the edge over there you just with the app of your office pin you pin it down so that it won't move away so at this edge over here you pick your pin your office pin then you pin it down so that it won't move then the next one is to the same way you fix in your rope at the close end you insert your pin there then you pass it through the other channel the other channel by the side you know we have to channel to one side so the other channel you pass the rope inside the same way Then after you are done, you also secure this with your office pin. So you go ahead and do the same thing too for the other side of the skirt. You do the same for the other side of the skirt. Then after doing that, this is what I have. So this is just what I have. As you can see, you can adjust the rope easily. So the next thing we'll be doing now is to fix our band so before fixing your band you ensure that the waist measurement you have here is accurate so that you don't fix your band and after that you will notice that it is not accurate so after fixing my band this is what the skirt is looking like this is what the skirt is looking like then the next thing i'll be doing is to fix my zipper at the back then after fixing the zip the skirt is ready so this is the zip after fixing it and the skirt is ready so this skirt can be styled in different way you can style it as a very short skirt as a knee length skirt as one side long and the other side short like you can just style it any how you want it is since it is adjustable you can style it any how so thank you so much for watching thank you so much for sharing for liking for subscribing thank you so so much and i will see you in my next video bye